Juan buys peaches and grapefruit at the store. He writes the equation shown to model the relationship between the number of pounds of peaches P and the number of pounds of grapefruit G that he buys. What is the total number of pounds of peaches and grapefruit that Juan buys? So we're going to use those two equations to solve for P and G. You can either use the substitution method or the elimination method. I'm going to use the elimination method. I'm going to multiply that top equation by negative 1.58. So then we'll have negative 1.58P on the top, 1.58P on the bottom. And then when you add those two equations together, the P's will cancel. So multiply that top equation by negative 1.58. Just make sure you multiply each term by negative 1.58. So if you do that, you get negative 1.58P minus 1.58G equals negative 3.95. The bottom equation will stay the same. So now when you add those two equations together, the P's will cancel. If you add those two equations together, you get negative 0.49G equals negative 0.49. Then to solve that for G, divide each side by negative 0.49, get G equals 1. So Juan bought 1 pound of grapefruit, but you still need to find out how many pounds of peaches he bought. So now that you know G is 1, you can go back to that first equation, substitute 1 in for G, and then you can solve for P. So take that first equation, substitute 1 in for G, end up with P plus 1 equals 2.5. Then to solve that for P, subtract 1 from each side, get P equals 1.5. So he bought 1.5 pounds of peaches, 1 pound of grapefruit. The question is, what is the total number of pounds of peaches and grapefruit that he buys? Just to add those two together, 1.5 plus 1, and that is 2.5. So Juan bought 2.5 pounds of peaches and grapefruit.